You can take a net and go for crawdads. You can turn rocks over and look for... Who's ready for this? This is Banklick Creek and we're down along 3L at Pioneer Park. Don't worry about it if you fall in. You're only falling in about this far. So all you're going to have to do is stand up. Whoa, this is deep. A few years ago we weren't able to do this. We weren't even able to touch this water. Yeah, just pick it up. See if there's anything in there. But because of the people dedicated to cleaning up the watersheds, this body of water now is clean. The way we can prove that is not only to let people in it, we look for good water quality indicators. We're looking for those aquatic insects, the water penny, and, and, and a few others that, that do well in clean water. Kick the rocks around. A few more. Shuffle it up. Come on, dance here. Ready? All right, look for swimming stuff. Oh, look at the fishies! Oh, wow. Look at it right now, little fishies! Grab them with your hand. <laughs> look at these. People's schedules are so busy now, we're so busy, that to just to find the time to not have soccer practice tonight um, and homework and it's the TV and the video games though. I've heard a kid say that they don't like going outside because there's no electric outlets. I think they've been robbed of some of the most important things in life. Okay, who wants to dump their bucket first? Hold on. They shouldn't be afraid of something like a creek or a trees or a woods or a field, that it's something that you need to go and investigate and it's a good place to be. Whether you learn what a water penny is or learn how to catch a crawdad is a little bit irrelevant. Everybody was successful here tonight. It doesn't matter if you caught anything or if you just fell in the water. That, that was awesome. I think they should be on the show Big Catch. Oh, look at this. What is this?